Okay, so for this next hack, we're gonna be showing you guys how to get inside Chick-fil-A on a Sunday when they're closed. What? It's open. It's open. It's an employee. That's an employee. Yes, yeah. What? <laughs> Wait, this looks and smells so good. I'm gonna do this every time we go to Chick-fil-A. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's YouTube video. So, this week we're gonna be testing out some TikTok food hacks. Kinda like the part two to the testing viral TikTok life hacks. So for everyone who wanted a part two, this is your part two. I'm really excited to try out these hacks, and also we're really, really hungry as well. So we're really excited to be trying some of these food hacks. And if you're excited for this video as well, be sure to give this video a like. Let's shoot for 100,000 likes once again. And yeah, let's get started with the video. All right, so for this food hack, it looks like it's a McDonald's food hack, and let's watch a video right here. All right, so it looks like you need ice cream and two chocolate chip cookies and then you combine the chocolate chip cookies together and put the ice cream in the middle and you make like a little yeah so chocolate? it's like an so it's like an ice cream cookie sandwich huh yeah yeah oh it my looks God. good because no, like here, the thing with McDonald's is like they have like really really good ice cream and really really good cookies so that's like a very good dessert combination that I've never tried out before so uh, let's run to McDonald's and try it out yeah all right so we just got back from McDonald's and lucky for us their ice cream machine was working so now we can finally put the ice cream cookie sandwich to the test two cookies per ice cream sandwich is what you're gonna need all right this is messy Oh, look oh, how good so that good. looks. Look, wait, make mine, make mine, make mine. Did you just eat it? He just licked a spoon. I'm not going to eat that anymore. There we go. There we go. Look how good this looks. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Why is this so good? I would rate this like a 9 out of 10. Highly recommend this. This is one of the best desserts I've ever had. I definitely recommend trying this out. But yeah, let's move on to the next life hack. Alright, so for this next food hack, we are at Starbucks right now. And we're gonna be testing out this drink hack. Apparently, it's like on their secret menu. But, but um, a, a, it's not even on the secret menu. You just have to request this drink. It's called a mermaid frappuccino. But here's the hack right here. We're gonna go check it out. Okay, so it looks like you just add whole milk. Then you get vanilla bean extract. Two scoops of that. Then you get dragon fruit. Fruit. fruit, three pumps of cream syrup base, lots of ice, and then you blend it, add matcha powder, dragon fruit dust, and then there's the drink. Seems really, really complicated, but it actually looks really, really cool. Like, I've never seen a drink like this before. Like, are they even gonna be able to make it, you think? I don't know. It looks really, really it good. Does. So we should just go inside and test it out, Alan. So yeah, let's just do that. Are you familiar with the TikTok frappuccino? Renegade shakes? Mermaid frappuccino? Yeah, the mermaid frappuccino. Like, we have the video right here. I have the video. It's like the ingredients. All right, so we have a mermaid frappuccino here, but I'm actually really surprised that they've never heard of the um, Renegade Shake or the or the TikTok frappuccino. Actually, Renegade Shake is just something we made up. But um, anyways, here's the mermaid frappuccino, and it actually looks really, really good. Let's try it out. Here we go. Here we go. This is this might be my favorite drink. It's like super complicated, but it's like so good. Yeah. I would definitely recommend getting this. All right, so we're at Chick Fil A now, and this hack will actually let you get Chick Fil A on a Sunday when they're supposedly closed. And also, we're gonna be trying out a food hack as well while we're here. And yeah, let's just get started. All right, so for this food hack right here, it looks like he just got some chicken nuggets, some fries, ranch sauce, and buffalo sauce, and a salad container. Then he shakes it up, and he's got a homemade buffalo style chicken nuggets and fries. That actually looks really good. So yeah, let's like, go test it out on a Sunday. I'm excited to try it. Yeah, I know. And I'm also excited to see if we can get it on a Sunday. We used to work at Chick-fil-A. That's how we know this hack works. Okay, so let's go test it out. All right, so this is the back entrance, but I actually seen an employee inside, so. What? It's open on Sundays. Wait, what? All right, so we have all the ingredients right here. We actually added a barbecue, which is like optional, but we just wanted barbecue just because we don't want it like too spicy. Also, a huge bummer. Um, we thought today was Sunday. It turns out it wasn't Sunday. It's not Sunday. <laughs> the employee was pretty confused. Um, anyways, we have our eight piece chicken nuggets and the waffle fries, and we already have it mixed in. Okay, mix it in. And now I'm putting in the barbecue. Oh, this already looks really good. That's that is true. true. All right, I just did a horrible job, but now the only step left is hey. mixing it, put the lid on it, and shake it up. One, two, three. Don't break it. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, this looks and smells so good. I'm not joking around, this is actually so good. good. I'm gonna do this every time I go to Chick-fil-A. I'm not even lying. Just so you guys know, we're not capping. I actually finished every single bite. There's nothing. Alex, we're filming. 
Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go get another one. All right, so for this TikTok food hack, we're gonna be making a watermelon smoothie. First thing you need is obviously a watermelon. And the next thing you need is something sharp to cut like an incision point in the watermelon where you're gonna be and then you're gonna place the, it's easier to show you guys. So step one, we have the watermelon. Step two, we're gonna cut a little circle. Oh my gosh, be careful, Alan. We got a different knife for it, so one that can cut deeper. Oh, okay, all right. right. Just, just, so when you feel like you've made a hole big enough for the mixer to fit in, you stick the mixer in. So you wanna blend it for about 30 seconds to completely liquefy the watermelon. All right, so we just blended it for about 30 seconds. Take a look inside to see if there's any juice. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of juice in it. All right, so what you wanna do next is you wanna get like a little cup and cut it directly in the middle. After you cut the cup in half, you wanna reshoot the opening so the cup can fit in there a little better. Okay, so now the hole looks like it'll fit the cup. Uh, let's see if it works. And Oh, there we go. Oh, that's perfectly. perfectly. Look at this, wow. It's like a perfect little pouring spout. Here. All right, moment of truth, guys. Oh, that's not bad. Here, wait, you know what? I have a better idea. Let's get rid of the pouring spout and let's just dump it in. That's definitely a way better way. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We don't need the cup. We don't need the cup. We can just drink it like this. Wow, you know, or better yet, you drink out of that, I'll drink out of it like this, Alan. <laughs> Go. You want to taste three, test it? Taste three, test in three, two, one. Mmm. This is so good. I forgot how watermelon juice tasted like. Wait, this is this so is healthy actually too. so good. And this it's is super healthy too, so. You know, like I mentioned, I don't think you actually need a pouring spout. If you don't mind pouring it in the cup like I just did, it seemed a lot easier. And yeah, or you can just drink it out of it like this, but I highly doubt this is a good idea because other people may not want to drink after you, which I don't care. So one more neat trick you can do with a watermelon, you can actually turn a watermelon smoothie into a watermelon freezy by putting it in the freezer. This is something cool, a neat little trick that you can try with your friends and a watermelon. And yeah, I would recommend it. And now let's move on to the next hack. Okay, so for the next food hack, it's also a McDonald's food hack. And yeah, here's a video right here. Let's go watch it. Okay. Looks like so you need a power, power drill. And then you're gonna be putting snacks inside a McFlurry. And you're gonna use the power drill to like blend it up. And once it's done, it should come out looking really, really good. That's what it looks like. Let's go test that one out as well. All right, so we just got back from McDonald's. We have our McFlurries and our snacks right here. We chose Kit Kats and Hershey's. You also need a power drill for this, obviously. Or a blender, anything like that. Like that or a mixer. Um, basically, we're gonna be putting these snacks inside the McFlurry and we're gonna be mixing it up, and that way you have your own custom, custom made McFlurry. So let's put in the Kit Kats first. Two Kit Kats in each. Now onto the Hershey. This and this. Oh, that's really? good. Yeah. Okay, all right, so we're gonna mix it up. Oh! That didn't work. We're gonna have to clean all this up. Oh my god. Okay, so clearly I did something wrong. Um, I didn't hold on to it. Uh, I so you hold on to it this time. I'll hold on to it this time and you'll blend it, okay? okay. Careful right. though. What if it like cuts your hand? Go. Oh! 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 Ow. Okay, alright. I think it's ready. Oh my god. This looks good! This looks good. Alright, let's do a taste test. How is it? How is it's it? a lot better than it was earlier, but really, because it, it's give so it much better. Give it. This food hack I would give about a seven out of ten. I'm gonna highly recommend this. It's not, I don't think it's too safe. All right, so for this next food hack, it's more of like a cooking hack. The, basically, the video is right here. It's um, like an egg sandwich hack. Yeah. So inside the video, um, okay, so you just put a little bit of butter inside the pan. Pour the eggs in after mixing it. Get two pieces, two slices of bread. Dip the bread in each side, and then. then you, Flip the egg over, flip up the side. Now flip up the other side in it, and there's a sandwich right there. Oh, wow, that looks yummy. I'm gonna have to try that. That actually looks so good. Yeah, let's, let's go test it out. First step, we don't have butter, so we're gonna use cooking spray instead. It doesn't really matter. So step one, and then what we wanna do now is wanna get three eggs. What we wanna do now is we wanna like whip it up, stir it up to where it's uh, really scrambly looking. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. So you dip the first slice in like this, and second one in like this. Let it sit for about 30 seconds. All right, so right now we're just gonna flip, flip it around. Flip it over. Oh! oh that's not bad. I, not I, bad. I okay. didn't think you'd be able to pull it off. All right, so now you wanna tuck the edges in. Like that. All right, and now and then flip it around. Boom! <laughs> 
Oh! Boom! Look at that. that looks so good! <laughs> it looks so good in the video. This is how it came out like. What is this? Did we do something wrong? Did we skip a step? I mean, it still turned out pretty good. I think I just used too many eggs. I would recommend using two eggs and not three eggs. Alex will be doing his version of it and seeing if he can do a better job. All right. I put two eggs in this time. Ah! Oh, wait, it has to be even. I know that. This isn't good. I'm gonna let it sit for a few seconds and then I'm gonna flip it around. Three, two, one. Oh, Ooh. look at that. Oh, that looks good. Mine actually looks pretty good. All right, taste test. Three, two, one. This is a good breakfast. I'd eat this for breakfast. I would actually eat this. Yeah, it's just, I would. I just have to get better at it, and once I perfect it, I would eat this every day. Actually. I feel like there's no flavor, but other than that, like this is like a really quick way to make an egg sandwich. So yeah, this was uh, this was not bad. All right, so we have another food hack right here. All you need is a bag of hot Cheetos and then some sliced pickles. pickles. And flaming hot Cheetos. For this food hack, you just need to crush up the Cheetos. And then once they're done, you put the pickles, the sliced pickles, inside the hot Cheetos. And then it'll stick on the pickles, and then you have a hot Cheeto, Cheeto pickle. pickle. Okay. Um, <laughs> that doesn't look very good, but we're just trying this out for you yeah, guys. you know, it might be good. So yeah, let's just start crushing up the uh, bag of Cheetos. Yeah. Oh, this is good. I just gotta do it for a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't have time for this. I thought he was gonna hit my head with it. That's why I ducked. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, hold on, hold on. I actually wanna try another way because this isn't really working out that well. Oh my. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. Did it work? <laughs> I don't even think I landed on a cheetah. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Okay, so I think the whatever body slam you did to me worked a little too good because it ripped a hole in it. Uh, oh, hey, there we go. It's actually kind of crushed up nicely. Um, moment of truth. You want to go first, Alan? And I'll then do the honors. You'll go, and then I'll go, and then we'll see uh, how it tastes like. I don't really like pickles, so. Okay, let's see. You know, oh, yeah, I, oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Wow. I can I can already smell it. it smells like pretty nasty. This is almost like a dare. Like, I wouldn't eat this no on my own. All right. How is it? I don't know. It's a lot better than just eating a pickle. I'll say that. It doesn't taste that good, but it doesn't taste bad. But I definitely want to eat it again on my own free will. Like, all right, my turn. It tastes like fried pickles. This is not it. This is not the move. For the sake of the video, I'm not going to throw up, but this is bad. I'm throwing this away. Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Please don't try that. Okay, let's do the next hack. All right, so for this next hack, we're gonna need you to subscribe, like the video. It's a really good hack if you wanna see more of our um, YouTube, YouTube videos. Uh, yeah, so by subscribing, our videos will pop up more, and hey, like, that's a good hack if you wanna see more of our videos. So yeah, please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it at all. And uh, thank you so much for watching once again, and we'll, we'll see, see you guys next time. time.